Over the last 12 months since our Equality Standard Report, AFC Bournemouth has continued to make progress. In 2020, we hope to be awarded the highest level of Premier League Equality Standard and we will all have a part to play in achieving this goal. Awareness of the club's current equality profile is crucial to delivering this work and I'm pleased to share that we've received a record number of responses to our staff and support monitoring surveys. Your responses lead to some of the very best work. I hope that you will have noticed the improvements to ticketing at AFC Bournemouth. A year ago, we became the first Premier League club to offer a pick your seat option for all supporters when booking away tickets online, making supporting our team on the road a more positive and accessible experience for all wheelchair users and ambulance disabled supporters. AFC Bournemouth have been excellent in putting on away travel for the last couple of seasons they've run minibuses to every away game and on a couple of occasions they've taken the Premier League Jumbulance. This season we're delighted to be supporting four people focused charities in our local community Access Dorset, Primer Life, Autism Wessex and Dorset Search and Rescue. We work with our charity partners to not only raise awareness and funds but to benefit the lives of the local people they support from providing once in a lifetime experiences to making small changes to improve everyday experiences such as the regular Superstore Sensory Hours we've introduced with Autism Wessex to offer a calmer and quieter environment for those who may find shopping stressful or overwhelming. Mainstreaming a quality impact assessments was one of the management team's objectives this year. Across the club, we now have a wide range of staff completing this process, which helps us to anticipate possible disadvantage before it happens, put in place measures to minimise this and determine how policies can be further developed to positively contribute to strategic equality objectives. Having had success in retail with the introduction of our women's Umbro replica shirts and our kit supplier making a global change in youth gender labelling from our recommendations. And we've now explored ways to make sure our replica home shirt can be worn by everyone. In some cases, it's necessary to make special adaptations in order to meet the requirements of our supporters and their additional needs and it's been exciting to make this a reality with our first adapted home shirt. Equality is important in all Community Sports Trust programmes, providing opportunities for all using the power of football, AFC Bournemouth and the Premier League. Throughout 2019, as part of the Community Sports Trust strategy, we looked at key areas of local need that we could impact on. Health and wellbeing was a key area, including mental health. Girls and Women's Pathway development continues to be an area of progression and I'm particularly delighted to report the increase in AFC Bournemouth teams across the disability sector. Staff development linked to strategic areas of working impact on our local community has seen the team of community staff grow to 36 full-time staff and 10 part-time, working directly within local areas with weekly contact with over 4,000 children, teenagers and adults. AFC Bournemouth's women team continue to progress and are currently unbeaten in the league. Striker Meg Vella being named Player of the Season at the club's annual awards, a fantastic role model highlighting her incredible work-life balance of being a mum, working in the army and combining this playing for AFC Bournemouth. The strategic approach to increasing staff to work in specific areas has seen us for the first time employing a health project lead who along with staff have developed and impacted on key objectives across cancer, mental health, young carers, along with incorporating a social action project in awareness across childhood obesity. We are very proud to be able to offer Football for and have expanded our player pathway within disability football to now having adult teams representing AFC Bournemouth across impairment specific groups including Down syndrome, hearing impaired and cerebral palsy. We are grateful for the continued support of Eddie Howe the management team and all the players who support our community engagement with reg regular visits to schools, coaching sessions and community activities, which is a very important area of our community engagement work, providing opportunities for children and adults to meet their heroes and be inspired. The player appearance have expanded to cover the under-21s, women's and youth team players who have been supporting projects including ability counts and Premier League kicks. Community and equality match tickets provide the chance for those who wouldn't be able to watch AFC Bournemouth the opportunity to experience Premier League football for the first time through a carefully considered approach and partnership work. We focus on matching groups to our theme match days with an associated focus on protected characteristic groups. Following the launch of Everyone Together shortly before this report last season, 
We've now produced five videos telling the stories of some of our supporters, the challenges they faced, and the positivity that AFC Bournemouth brings to their lives. Each film has been uplifting in a very different way and very well received by our wider supporter base. The production of the videos has been supported by the recruitment of an assistant digital editor focused on equality and the community content this season. And it was very pleasing for all concerned when everyone together was recognised by Hampshire FA with their Equality Champion Award. Discrimination has absolutely no place in society and will not be tolerated at our football club. We want everyone to share our commitment to eliminating all forms of discrimination at the Vitality Stadium by reporting incidents to a steward on the day or using our confidential text line. The text line can be easily found on your ticket at locations around the ground and in the programme. Last season, you told us that homophobia, biphobia and transphobia were the most experienced forms of discrimination at the Vitality Stadium. It also remains true that not everyone feels that they can be themselves at work or at football without worrying about if they will be accepted. We are committed to being a football club where all staff and players can perform to their best ability and all supporters can enjoy the match experience but we need everyone to share this commitment to make this a reality. That's why we are encouraging everyone who wants to share our future to become an ally. We are open-minded. We are listeners. We are supportive. We are inclusive. We are willing to talk. We are allies. We are allies. We are allies. We are allies. Being an ally means we are open-minded. We listen, we are supportive, and we will speak up where we see discrimination. As well as players, staff, and supporters used our Rainbow Laces theme match to show their support for our allies' message. In the concourses, you will hopefully have seen our latest LGBT terminology cards as part of our efforts to promote understanding and reduce the unintentional use of discriminatory language. In addition, we took a more active and visual part in Bournemouth Pride this summer, sharing a parade float with our partner, Bournemouth University. Being a professional footballer at AC Bournemouth is about much more than just playing football. We can make a positive impact on people's lives on and off the pitch. We genuinely appreciate the important part the team has to play as role models in supporting the excellent work the club does with our community's diverse and most vulnerable groups. The youth team have really enjoyed supporting the club's equality work this year, from baking cakes with last season's charity partner, The Crumbs Project, to uh, getting involved with some of the sessions delivered by the Community Sports Trust. This supports the development of our younger player and future first team players in line with our club's philosophy. Internally, we've introduced a mental health and wellbeing policy for staff with trained mental health first aiders in a range of departments across the club. We've also created a multi-faith prayer room at the stadium, which is available to staff during the week and on match days to players and coaches from both teams, as well as match officials. A number of improvements have been made to accessibility on match days. These include accessibility cards for supporters that may have a disability, medical condition or an access requirement and follows feedback from the club's equality focus group and listening to their own experiences. Uh, the equality focus group has been running for just over a year and uh, I am very, very pleased to be involved in it. Uh, I'm a disabled person myself. I love being in the group because it gives me a bigger perspective to what other people's needs are. I like the fact that the club is concerned enough about the supporters, that they want to hear what we have to say, that they take the time to sit down with us and detail what we have to say. We are AFC Bournemouth. Together, anything is possible.